Let's take a look at problem 4 in IMO 1962. To solve the equation cosine square x plus cosine square of 2x plus cosine square of 3x equals 1. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. To solve this equation, I'm going to first recall the double angle formula, which says that cosine of 2 theta equals to 2 cosine square theta minus 1. I'm choosing a version that only includes cosine. So from this, I can say that cosine square theta is actually equal to 1 plus cosine 2 theta, all divided by 2. So I'm going to apply this into all three terms on the left-hand side. And so we will have 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2 plus 1 plus cosine of 4x over 2 plus 1 plus cosine 6x over 2. And the sum of these three fractions equals to 1. So simplifying, which is easy because all three fractions have the same denominator. Adding up, we have 3 plus cosine of 2x plus cosine of 4x plus cosine of 6x. And this fraction is equal to 1. So we can simplify that very quickly. We have the sum of the three cosines is equal to minus 1. Now I'm going to move the minus 1 to the left as well. And this is how the equation will look like afterwards. The reason that I choose to do this is that this one can be written as cosine of 0. So we somehow have some form of symmetry between the first and the last term and the middle terms. At this point, I'm going to use the sum to product formula and to slow down and to display that and in slow motion. I'm going to regroup the terms first. And rewrite 0 as 3x minus 3x. I choose 3x because 3x is the, the average of 0 and 6x. In fact, it is also the average of 2x and 4x, the terms in the other group. Now for the other part, for the other group, 2x is written as 3x minus x, while 4x is written as 3x plus x. Now, recalling the compound angle formula, the sum will become 2 cosine 3x times cosine 3x, added by 2 cosine 3x cosine x equals 0. So from this line to the bottom, this is actually the sum to product formula. Of course, for the first group, it can be just simply written as 2 times cosine square 3x, if you recall the double angle formula, but just to make the two groups to be transformed with the same method. So now we'll notice that with a common factor of 2 times cosine 3x on both terms, and so we take out that common factor. which means either cosine of 3x is 0 or cosine of 3x plus cosine x equals 0. Using the sum to product formula again, the second case may be written as 2 times cos of 2x. Now that the average of 3x and x is 2x and multiply by 
half the difference, which is cosine x equals zero. So we actually have three cases. The first one is that cosine of three x equals zero, or cosine of two x equals zero, or cosine of x equals zero. We do not have any restrictions on the values of x, as if we don't have the range, say, um, x would be between 0 to 2 pi, something like that. So I'll just say that 3x equals 2 pi over 2 plus any integral multiple of pi. And so simplifying, we'll have x to be equal to pi over 6 plus k pi over 3 where k is any integer. For the middle case, we can do something similar. And we get that x to be power over 4 plus some integral multiple of pi over 2. And for the final case, is the easiest. It's just x equals to pi over 2 plus k pi, where k is some integer. If I were to restrict to principal values of x, which means if I restrict to x to between minus pi and pi, then these would be the solution. We will have plus or minus 5 pi over 6, plus or minus 3 pi over 4 plus or minus pi over 2 plus or minus pi over 4 and plus or minus pi over 6. So I can restrict these and add any integral multiple of 2 pi where k is any integer. And so this will be our final answer.